Now we have Route 31. Let's see here. So we got the berry, we got the poison cure berry. Oh, there's a there's the polywag. I think polywag has hypnosis, so I should be careful and get away. I'd rather not fight it. Now, over here is Dark Cave. Now, I can catch a Geodude here, and it would be quite useful against the first gym in Violet City. But a lot of people do that. Like, you know, I want to be, be a little different. So I'm going to be using my Rattata instead, and I think that'll work out okay. I'm going to have to do some tag-teaming to get through, but I think uh, Cyndaquil and uh, Rattata can do it. That guy is sleepy, okay. And there's a bitter berry. Bitter berry is actually quite useful. Okay, let's go into the pack. A self cure for confusion. Uh, that'll eventually come in handy, so there you go. Um, I'll probably replace that pretty soon. There's a better item to hold on to for it. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see this item. I'm not sure about, um, well, yeah, I think I'm going to, well, first off, let me see, yeah, Stupendous, um, I, I think I'm going to catch something first. So, there's a certain Pokemon that I can find. Um, there's Bellsprout, that's fairly common in here, so we got Grass-type, fairly interesting, but the first gym is actually strong against Grass-types, so we're going to speed up for a while. Here we go, this is Ghastly. Now, it's a ghost type Pokemon, and it, I think it has like a 5% chance of being found if you are in this route. Uh, you can also find it in um, a place up ahead, but, um, but I think it's a little more interesting, because I wasn't really aware that you could find one here, and here we go, we caught it. We didn't even have to fight it, or use multiple balls. That's fantastic. Now, um, I'm gonna name this, uh, uh, Pulti. Pulti, like a poltergeist. Now, I'm gonna use this kinda later, but first we have this bug trainer to fight. Here we go. Another Caterpie, pretty easy to beat. Stupendous is a little weak from the, the past couple battles. So, um, it might not make it through this one. It's getting kind of dark. There we go. I'll whip it again. Did that did that thing go down in one hit? That wasn't a crit? Hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Ah, but stupendous rad is not really getting up in experience. Uh and I'd rather I could switch. Hmm. I really kind of need Stupendous Rat to get some experience here, so I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to go for it. I am afraid of getting poisoned. 
but I think a good tackle. Oh, two two tackles. Oh, poison. Oh yeah, I, I give the poison cure berry. Perfect. Okay. And we got level six. Thirteen attack. Pretty good. Not not incredible, I suppose, but uh, pretty good. Can demonstrate that using Leer will actually help out quite a bit. If I had used Leer, I would have defeated it. But you know, I can use ta two tackles anyway. Okay, I'd rather not fight a bunch of Pokemon on the way to the next uh, city, if you don't mind. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's a good hint. Um, you can also catch a Bellsprout and trade it to someone here in Violet City. Right over here. Bellsprout. Looking to give an Onyx. Uh, Onyx is uh, a pretty interesting Pokemon. Fairly infamous for being really big and really defensive, but it's not really... it doesn't really hit hard. Um, but it's good against the gym, for sure. It's a rock type. Get like a Geodude or an Onyx fairly easily, but I think... Uh, you know, as I said, I'm going to mix it up with this Rattata and my Cyndaquil. Um, I will have to train it, so I'm going to go over here to the Sprout Tower. I will get the experience, and experience I shall. And this is where you can get an HM. It's uh, not super important, but it, it can help out. Let's switch over to Pulte. Oh wait, I, I, I somehow I, I forgot I healed up. It's just so automatic, I, di I didn't even notice. So this place has a lot of these men with, um, well, a certain Pokemon. Bellsprout, as this is the, the, the Sprout Tower. The nice thing about Bellsprout is that they give a lot of experience. We shall see. They're not like little Caterpies giving 22 experience. They are going to give much more. I think 60? 54. Pretty good. And that's really good because we are going to get a new move pretty soon. Fine whip hurt a bit. That's fine. Couple tackles takes it down. And there we go, we got level 7, and with that, we learn Quick Attack. So that's a uh, fully accurate move, and it always hits first, generally, if you're not if you're not going up against something that is also using Quick Attack. Um, and it's a bit it's a bit more powerful than Tackle. In fact, I can actually directly show you because. The nice thing about Generation 2 here, uh, Gold and Silver and Crystal, is that you can do this, move, and you can move your moves and see their attack power. As you can see, there's Quick Attack, we've got Tackle, and Hypnosis and Lick. I want to put Lick over here. Not the most powerful attack, but it is a ghost type attack. It can be useful at times, and it can cause paralysis. So, that's pretty good. And we have hypnosis. So, if push comes to shove, we can uh, switch over to Pulte and put uh, an enemy to sleep. By the way, this is also a place where you can find Rattata and uh, Ghastly. Um, at night, I think. I think it's only at night. Rattata might be in the daytime, I kind of forget. Let me just change this. Pull D. The Ghastly. 
Alright, so remember when I mentioned that I might be speeding up? This is actually going to be one of those situations, because this is going to just kind of be a really easy battle with Pulte, the Poltergeist, the Ghastly. Here we go. There's that Paralysis, level 6. Lick, lick, lick. Lick has a, um... A... I think it's like a one-third chance of paralysis. And paralysis comes in handy, but the thing about Lick is that you cannot use it against a, um, a normal type. So this, so Pulte will not really be useful against the gym, because, you know, we got, uh, we got Pidgeys uh, and Spiro, I think. So we won't be able to Lick them, but that's fine. We can Lick these, uh, these, uh, the, the bell sprout instead. And now we have yet another battle that I am going to speed up. Oh, we learned Spite. Spite is pretty good. Uh, I can actually go to move. Yep. I, I I think I really sped up that uh, that guy's like speech. I, I forget. I didn't really notice what he said. Uh, cuts the PP of the move. So if you're up against a Pokemon using um, Blizzard, let's say, it could actually prevent your enemy from using that move again because Blizzard only has five PP. This potion will come in handy because I prefer not to head back. This one is going to be a little different because it's a level 6. I might, you know, I'm going to use Hypnosis for once. Um, oh man, that's doing 2 damage. Yeah, I better Hypnosis. Uh, hypnosis is like 60% accurate, so it's not really reliable, but it helps out in a pinch. Your enemy will be put to sleep for one or even five turns, so that could be good. And we're just gonna lick ahead. There we go. I wonder how many licks I have left. Hmm. Oh, I'm already level 10. Okay, definitely gonna switch. I didn't even notice. Um, so I'm not gonna use Ghastly in the gym, because I prefer not to use Pokemon that are so high level. Uh, so in that case, I'm probably going to um, escape this uh, this place and heal up. Uh, 13 HP can probably take this thing on. Ooh, with a critical hit too. Uh-oh, with that growth. The vine whips will be harder to to handle. Ooh, eight damage. That's something. I could skip the next battle. That is something I could do. In fact, I think I will, and I will use potion because I don't want to head on all the way back and deal with the wild Pokemon hmm far too harsh Alright, see you later, jerk. Uh, I'm actually going to use this escape rope and just escape and head back later. So I probably shouldn't have used that potion. I, I just don't want to be too high level, like higher level than the gym leader. So where in the world is that escape rope? There we go. 
will be an issue that I like I will have to return if I finish up that place, but it's, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, 